please stand for the grand promenade of the Clear Horizons Early College High School Class of 2011. Please remain standing for the presentation of colors, the pledge, and the national anthem. Please remain standing for presentation of colors, the pledge, and the national anthem. Male graduates and male guests, please remove your mortarboards and hats now. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Oh, say 
Good afternoon, my name is Matthew Peebles and I'm the senior class president. And on behalf of the class of 2011, our first full class of graduates to attend our school for four years, I would like to welcome you all to the Clear Horizons Early College High School Commencement Exercises. So, we have our graduation robes on, we have our mortarboards, and we have our tassels. We have our expectations and our excitement for the future. We have our hopes and our dreams. We have our associate degrees. <laughs> we also have our uh, four of the most, four shared years of the most exciting and tumultuous times of our lives so far. <laughs> I'm honored to have shared these memories with you. I'm honored to stand by each and every one of you today and know that we graduated together, because truly, that is what we did. I do not graduate today. We graduate. We experienced everything at Clear Horizons and at San Jacinto together, and I'm a better person for it. We have fought together through all the trials and tribulations of high school as students. Now we shall stand together as graduates. Thank you. honored to introduce our platform guests. Please hold your applause while they are all introduced. Platform guests, please stand briefly as I call your name. From the Clear Creek Independent School District Board of Trustees, Board President, Ms. D. Scott. Secretary, Ms. Ann Hammond. Mr. Robert Allen Davey. Mr. Uh, Mr. Charles Pond. Ms. Paige Rander and Ms. Wynn Weber. From the Clear Creek Independent School District Education Service Center, Superintendent Dr. Greg Smith. Deputy Superintendent Dr. Stephen Ebel. Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction, Dr. Tina Farrell. Director of Secondary School, Mrs. Marlene Skiba and Director of Student Personnel Services, Paul McClary, Chief Financial Officer, and Superintendent Dave Burrell, Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources. <laughs> and from Clear Horizons, our principal, Dr. Jennifer Morrow, our Assistant Principal, Mrs. Alice Schwartz, our Counselor, Mrs. Ronwyn Patterson.
Also, we want to make sure that we welcome from San Jacinto College's leadership team, the President, Dr. Maureen Murphy, the Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Tony Pendergrass, the Assistant Vice Chancellor for Education Partnerships, Ms. Pam Campbell, the Interim Director for Dual Enrollment Services, Ms. Judy Harrison. Thank you. We appreciate all of them being here. We appreciate all of you being here. And for our guests, we still have a couple of seats open on the front row. They're not the best seats in the house, but there are some up there. We are glad to see a large crowd. Today we gather to celebrate the accomplishments of our first full class of graduates to attend Clear Horizons Early College High School for four years. Congratulations. Here in Clear Creek ISD, we pride ourselves on courage, collaboration, innovation, and self-direction. We are so appreciative and indebted to you, the class of 2011, and your families for being courageous in this venture. In 2007, you set off on a very courageous journey to enter this innovative new school that was a brand new collaborative effort with San Jacinto College. Dr. Smith, Dr. Murphy, as you hear their honors, accomplishments, and plans, I think we can all agree that they also have great self-direction. You are the families that came here on great faith with great trust in these two outstanding organizations. We thank you for your trust in us and your patience with innovation. We congratulate you and honor you today for your outstanding accomplishments as parents, grandparents, family, siblings, and seniors, most of all. We know that none of us do things alone, but with the love and support of our community and our family. Your leadership, your efforts, and your hard work is evident in the many accolades that you have bestowed on our school in the last four years. You have led our school to be the only four-time exemplary high school in CCISD. The only... The only local secondary school honored by the Texas Business and Education Coalition and the only school with 11 of the 12 possible TEA Gold Performance Acknowledgements. We are very proud of you. You have earned National Merit Commendations, the only local West Point appointment of the year, national and international scholarships, and an impressive 98% attendance rate, the highest among our high schools. You have led us to return more than 25,000 service learning hours and more than 10,000 community internship hours free back to our community annually. For the same dollar per dollar investment of one of our comprehensive high school experiences, you've received six years of education. We thank both collaborative partners, CCISD and San Jacinto College for that. But your courage to work through and figure out this incredible innovation is the beginning of great possibilities for future students and great self-direction for each of you. High school students throughout the land are working up the courage to take their directions off to college. Friends, grandparents, Dr. Smith, don't wish these young men and women great luck as they go off to college. And be careful how you ask them in a few months how it's going at college. As they often say, we've already done college. They have been there and done that. They leave here today not with the trepid trepidation of the traditional graduate, they leave here with great confidence and comfort knowing that journey to that journey of college is almost complete. Because of this gift our community has given them in Clear Horizons Early College High School, they're not nervous. They are boldly looking forward to the challenges ahead. Thank you.
Good afternoon, and congratulations, fellow graduates. In fact, congratulations to all of my friends and uh, all the family and friends of my classmates, too. Much as we tried to avoid admitting it, you've played a big part in getting us to this point, and you deserve a share in the adulation. You know, I'm still a bit surprised that I'm up here speaking to you all. I wasn't planning on being salutatorian. In fact, five years ago, I wasn't planning on getting an associate's degree before I got my diploma. Back during eighth grade year, before, when my mom first asked me when, if I wanted to attend the school, I remember thinking that I didn't want to go to a separate school from my friends. Even though I was told I'd be going to a large high school and I couldn't be sure of being in the same classes or smaller learning communities as my friends, I was sure that I would not know anyone that would attend Clear Horizons. I had all but decided not to apply until my brother looked at me and said, you know, it would be hilarious if I went to school here and you didn't, and I ended up a year ahead of you. Our class motto rather sufficiently sums up my reaction to him, challenge accepted. And it's that spirit, that mindset of looking each obstacle square in the eye and bowling it over that makes our class so unique. As we sit here today, preparing to embark from high school in one last grand flourish, it's important to remember what we've been through together, what horizons we've crossed, what victories we've achieved. Think about it. We graduated from college three weeks ago, and we haven't even walked across the stage yet, and we are the first full four-year class to graduate from Clear Horizons. It took quite a bit of work to get here, and quite a bit of play. But not one other graduating class can claim to have the same incredible education that we're leaving with today. Because it isn't just that we got four years of college, and, or four years of high school and two years of college. We also gained immeasurable wisdom from internships, where lots of us helped doctors, some of us did research, and one of us built a robot, to service from mentoring elementary students to directing traffic to reading to even younger kids, to merely dusting the main office, and from building the traditions and identity of our school. Remember those beanbag chairs back in ninth grade? We used to stack them as high as possible, turn them into beds, or squish people with them, despite my mom's protests. They may have disappeared along with our student center, but students of all grade levels continue to congregate in different places much the same way we did with those beanbags. We started our own clubs in 10th grade, some were flubs, such as my attempt at the sci-fi club, and others were resounding successes, like Latin and art, that will probably be with the school for many years to come. Many of us joined the only team this school has had, the Robonauts, and started a tradition of Pac-Man kit bots still in use today. And Zad wrote about Velocimassi versus the Colossus of Rhodes, which has pretty much become the senior story. Then came our junior and senior years, these were the college years, where most of us only took AP English, ISM, and maybe Spanish on the high school side. 
Our high school teachers had done the best to prepare us as well as they could, and they did an excellent job at that. But now we were on our own, struggling to maintain the level of learning we had grown accustomed to in high school classes. From calculus, where a majority of fellow college students were tw over 20 years old, to philosophy with a professor who moonlighted as a comedian, classes got a lot more interesting and in ways more frightening, with supplemental instruction becoming a necessary, no vital part of some courses like chemistry, and the idea of sleep virtually flew out the window. Even with little sleep, internships, the San Jack Theater, the talent show, or robotics, we were still able to earn associate's degrees. In fact, because of the past two years, we have become accustomed to operating in an environment with very high standards. Whether we are staying in Houston, or going out of town to college, or going into the military, we will all have continued success in the future. Now that I've mentioned it, I would like to personally thank both Crystal and Michael, who got accepted into the Navy SEALs, for their future service to our country. <laughs> In fact, I have a lot of people to thank today. And after all is said and done, all of us here today will have similar thanks. First, I have to thank my friends, who may have made my high school years so much fun. I can never forget the time we spent together. Matt and Ryan, you two were the best DJs ever. Mary, you are a true sci-fi connoisseur. Kayla, I'm gonna miss your random hugs. Dip, shopping is always more fun with you around. Brian, Stephanie, Colleen, the cute things you guys make always brighten my day. Danica, I'm gonna miss your cookies. Dina, you set the bar so high that challenge took on a whole new meaning, especially for us shorties, since I'm standing on a stool right now. <laughs> and Jesse, you've been my best friend. I would say that I'll miss you, but since we'll be working together at our NASA internship this summer, I won't. I have to thank my teachers and professors. I'm sure we haven't always been easy to deal with, but you pulled through for us and put so much of yourselves and your time into teaching us. I especially have to thank Mr. Massey, twice, for both years of high school history. Getting to write about medieval weapons was awesome. Ms. Pontius, how you taught quadratics was my saving grace in college math courses. Ms. Kitchens was a wonderful art mentor and challenged me to try different art mediums. I'd like to thank Professor Crawford for not only for teaching me chemistry, but for teaching me how to study. Professor Aulis, you made everything click in calculus in an amazing way. I appreciate how you were so vested in each student in your class and were interested in us not just as students, but as peers. And to the rest of my teachers, thank you all as well. But even with good friends and good teachers, we would not be here graduating today without our families and all you have done for us. So thank you, Dad. Thank you, Xander. I promise the grumpiness over, tire, over bad grades is gone. And most importantly, thank you, Mom. I would not be standing here today without your love and support. From your wise and often not listened to counsel, to your tireless dedication to this school, the students you cared for, and robotics, you have made my four years in high school truly memorable. I love you, family. As for today, we can now relax for a few brief moments and bask in the warmth of a thousand suns. No, wait, we're not at the district stadium. <laughs> Instead, we can bask in the warmth of our achievements. We can honestly present ourselves as people of integrity who work hard at our schooling and careers and succeed at the tasks we are given. The challenges we've faced would have staggered lesser students, but with our chins held high and our arms proudly crossed, we accepted the challenge. We are now done with this chapter of our lives and soon we will rock across this stage, hopefully without any tripping, and receive our hard-won diplomas. What does the future hold for us? Who can say? What matters is that you never stand back, but embrace the challenge and take up all life has to offer. Today is the culmination of years of hard work, effort by teachers, love and support from our family and friends, all celebrated in one memorable day. Oh wait, two San Jack graduates. So congratulations, class of 2011.
Good afternoon, fellow graduates, faculty, parents, and guests. Before we begin, I'd like all the graduates to get their bubble and put it in their mouth. <laughs> if you don't remember, think about last year's English tax test with the sub that treat us like kindergartners. I'm sure we've all had our fair share of listening to Dr. Seuss quotes, but I would like to add just one more. As Dr. Seuss said, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. This isn't the start or the end. This is just another part of our life experience. We've got a lot more ahead of us. We have all finally survived the first part of our long journey of education. But enjoy your summer while you can, because reality check, you'll be starting the second leg of your journey this August. This time, it's just without the parents. Clear Horizons has given us the tools and push to allow us to achieve many goals. We have all come this far, and it is amazing how much we have all grown and matured. Many of us had the choice to come here, while others were forced to come here. I think we can say now that even though we may have had our second guesses, such as missing out on band, choir, orchestra, sports, arts, and so on, our time here was worthwhile with all our friends and great education head start we've gotten. I can finally say congratulations, class of 2011, it is my privilege to say that I'm graduating with an amazing class. We have all accomplished so much as individuals and as a whole. I would never have imagined that I would be standing here as valedictorian, giving an inspirational speech to everyone. I hope that after this speech, everyone will take a little something that will either improve, inspire, or for even those who are hard to impress, possibly make you laugh by the end of this long, tedious speech. <laughs> I would like to start by having all the graduates take a trip down memory lane to, first, to when we first came to checks. Hair parted down the middle, teenage awkward clothing, being short, with the exception of me, I've always been short, <laughs> and other characteristics. Remember when we first heard the words going to school on a college campus or our own, own laptop? Everyone freaked out. However, the catch, there's always a catch, isn't there? The filter that would always block YouTube or Facebook or how others played Halo during ITSC class. <laughs> However, we can say that one good thing came up from all this. We have all become professional computer hackers. However, <laughs> However I don't think it would be good to give away our secret weapon from these um, official, official school administrators, right guys? Let's keep on the DL. <laughs> that was ninth grade. Moving into 10th grade, does everyone remember the awesome and only field trip we had, ice skating? <laughs> everyone was pumped and excited for that day, which was probably pretty sad in the eyes of a regular high school kid, but hey, we all considered it a privilege to be able to escape our jail classrooms and schoolwork. Once on the ice, you can immediately distinguish the three types of skaters, the novice wall clingers, the average skaters, and the sideliners. You know who you are. Don't try and be on. <laughs> From then on, all previous bragging about who could skate like a pro went out the door and the truth was revealed. Fast forward to 11th grade, the blandest school year we had, but also the year that many people changed. There were new haircuts and outfits, but most of all, the greatest change was the transition to more college classes. I think we can all say it was probably the hardest year of our lives. Chemistry took a toll on the majority of us, as well as our souls. We lived ate and slept chemistry, as well as all our other college courses. Don't forget about the brain-draining CRQs we had to take over and over. 
But in the end, all this boot camp training turned us into more prepared college students. And now we finally reached the last leg of our high school career, 12th grade. This was the year that we really gave back to the community. We helped out directing traffic with our bright orange flags during the Wings Over Houston special air show. We brought many smiles to the visitors, as well as the volunteers and workers of the show. We even helped Mother Nature by replanting plants to restore the prairie at Armand Bayou Nature Center. Save the prairie chickens! <laughs> all in all, this year has gone by so fast. It only seemed like yesterday that we were scrambling across campus trying to find our next class. One would think that our unique high school experience would have taught us to get rid of some very nasty, ordinary high school habits, such as procrastination. <laughs> However, I don't think a single person, I'm also guilty, has gotten rid of that bad bug. But as a class, we have proven many times that a bunch of nerds, sometimes are mostly lazy, can not only take the hardest high school classes, such as World History AP and AP English, but also prevail in college courses. It's funny how we all have our associate's degrees before we even have our high school diplomas, which, by the way, we're about to receive. Is this even legal? <laughs> now we can proudly say that we have overcome these hurdles and cherish these memories forever. I may not be an expert advise, advisor on how to live your life after this, but I think everyone would benefit from a man well beyond his years as a great and wise wizard. As Albus Dumbledore said, it's our choices that choose what we truly are, far more than our abilities. One may have the highest GPA or the highest test score, but what truly defines a, that person is the choices that he or she makes. Keep this in mind as we all go our separate ways this next year. Soon we will be meeting new people, cultures, experiences, and challenges. Some will stay here in Houston and Texas, some will go to other states such as Colorado, New York, and Alabama, and some will even go out of the US, such as Malta and Puerto Rico. But wherever we are in the world, we will all face this new life with a fearless face. We live in a challenging and constantly changing world. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. At this time, people are picking up the pieces in tornado-hit cities. Homes are being destroyed by the flooding of the Mississippi, and people are dying in the wars all over around the world. We live in an unstable world, but whatever challenges thrown at us, I believe that each and every one of you will choose the right choice to help not only you, but for also the world in order to make a better place. One group of seniors has already taken a step into this by raising money for Japan earthquake victims. They created handmade bracelets and have raised over $245 that will go to the Japanese Red Cross to help the Japanese people. With this said, Chex has given us experiences and opportunities to give back to the community and the world. Therefore, we will be prepared to stand by our motto and conquer anything that is thrown into our path. Challenge accepted. In addition, we can't forget to thank those who have gotten us this far in the first place. Graduates, please help me in thanking the people who fed you and changed your diapers when you went to the bathroom in your pants. <laughs> for raising such a wonderful, energetic, achieving, crazy group of kids. Thank you, parents. <laughs> and we can't forget the wonderful teachers who tortured us with back-breaking loads of homework and sleepless nights. <laughs> they have truly helped us succeed and master our education. Thank you, teachers. <laughs> And last but not least, thank you, staff, for guiding us and making the school run as smoothly as possible with minimal bumps. <laughs> so thank you, <laughs> uh, staff. <laughs> Class of 2011, we, the guinea pigs of Clear Horizons, <laughs> after four years of being poked, prodded, pushed our limits, and much more have prevailed. We are the last standing survivors from a ninth grade class of 117 to a proud graduating class, senior class of 75. It has been a great four years and we are all about to start a new journey. The lessons that we've learned, the friends that we've made, have changed us forever. I'd like to leave you, with all, you all with one final piece of advice to think about as we move on in life. As Ms. Frizzle said from the Magic School Bus, take chances, make mistakes, and get messy. Once again, congratulations, Clear Horizons Class of 2011. Go out and rock the world.
We would like to recognize the seniors from the class of 2011 who have joined the military, as well as any of our guests in the audience who are serving or who have previously served in the military. Please stand so that we may honor your patriotism and service to your, our country. Thank you all for your service. Thank you all for your service. Indeed, it is much cooler in here than it has been out in the stadium over the last three, uh, three days there. So it is good to be inside for a graduation ceremony. Enjoy it. Welcome, class of 2011, parents, relatives, and special guests. It has been an absolute privilege and an honor to engage the hearts and minds of these young men and women. The CCISD way, as Dr. Morrill mentioned, courage, collaboration, innovation, and self-direction. Congratulations to valedictorian Dina Lucardi, who will be attending the University of Texas in Austin and receiving 73 undergraduate credit hours along with her. So congratulations, Dina. And certainly our salutatorian, Aviana Knuckle, who will be attending the University of Houston, taking 81 undergraduate credit hours with her. So congratulations, Aviana. Parents and guests and those of you who have traveled great distances, thank you for attending the high school commencement, which is important to these early college high school graduates, Clear Creek ISD and San Jacinto Community College. We are so very, very fortunate to have such a great partnership with San Jack South and San Jack Community College. So thank you, Dr. Murphy and others. Thank you very much. Certainly Clear Horizons has been in the news lately, locally, as far as budget cuts and things that we're trying to accomplish. So let's start off with some good news today and just go ahead and let you know that neither the Board of Trustees nor this superintendent is recommending the eliminations of a four-time exemplary performing high school. Okay. <laughs> Now we'll have to make some sacrifices just like we're doing across the district, but I think the future looks extremely bright for Clear Horizons. And thank you seniors, uh, you certainly made our recommendation easier because of your success. Thank you, way to go. So where do we go from here? Uh, other than coming up to the stage, getting your diploma and walking out the door. I thought about giving you some tips about congratulating you for success in high school, but many of you have already graduated from college. I thought about tips for success in college, but then again, you already have that one checked off your sheet. So what is a superintendent supposed to do to inspire you with remarks and or give you some tips for the day? Well, let's go ahead and do what Socrates did best, and that is ask questions. This is a test. So why are you here? Well, some of you are thinking, why am I here at Clear Falls High School Auditorium? Or here in this district? Or here in this college? After all, I graduated several weeks ago, or even here on this earth. Some of you might respond, I'm here to get a degree, others to get a job, still others to buy a car. <laughs> what are you here for? What are your talents and gifts? What are your dreams? Are you focused on material things, or have you truly found your purpose? What would happen if you lived your life to its fullest. My last question, what could you become if you identified your greatest strengths and removed your worst constraints? This question bears repeating again, in case you missed it the first time. What could you become if you identified your greatest strengths and removed your worst constraints? Graduates, as you develop your plan of action on this earth, answer that question and you will have answered the question of your life. So today, as you walk across this stage, you have two choices. You can be the deer in the headlights, or you can continue working the plan. After all, you have already gotten a head start. So congratulations, class of 2011. 
Now, let's work the plan. Thank you, and best of luck. Greetings, family and friends and Chex graduates. I'm the last speech. <laughs> I do want to tell you, on behalf of everybody at San Jacinto College, we congratulate you, many of you, again, because we just did three weeks ago. We are so proud of this incredible journey that we have taken together. And you need to know that you are the product of absolutely unbelievable vision, courage, and just persistence and perseverance. If it were not for Dr. Tina Farrell and Ms. Pam Campbell standing up when challenged, who can do an early college high school around here, you wouldn't be here. They stood up and said, we can do it and they were right. Now, I came in a little bit later. I came in a few months before you all did. And when Pam Campbell came to me and said, we have this class of ninth graders who is come on, coming onto our college campus, I said to her, and why is this a good idea? <laughs> and you proved to me that it is a good idea. You proved to me that we can, together, achieve excellence in education. You have had opportunities that few people have. And together, the energy we have all created has just been electric. And I'm going to ask something of you. We're living in a time right now in which the public challenges the value of public education. Oftentimes, people are suspect of the meaning of education, that it means anything and people are highly critical of our teachers. You have received the best education that is possible. And when you hear these things, I ask you to stand up and let people know that public education, college education, and K-12 is alive and well in this part of the world and that you are proud to have been part of it. You have been taught by people who have committed their lives to education, who believe in the future, believe more specifically in your future. And I ask you, as you go ahead into your future, do not dismiss the call to teach. It may not have hit you yet, but it may sometime. Teaching is hard work. There are low rewards financially, but the rewards of making a difference in our world are just unsurpassed. Don't dismiss it. If you hear it, stop and listen. So again, I thank you for teaching me that ninth graders are okay to have on campus. <laughs> I wish you well. Congratulations and Godspeed. Dr. Smith, I hereby certify that these students have successfully completed the course of study as prescribed by the state of Texas. In addition, they have satisfied all of the graduation requirements as stipulated by the Board of Trustees and Clear Creek Independent School District. Dr. Morrow, I accept your certification and hereby declare these students as graduates of the Clear Creek Independent School District with all the rights, honors, and privileges appertaining to this degree. Congratulations, students. To help ensure that every family has the opportunity 
to hear their student's name. We ask that you refrain from yelling, using air horns, whistles, or, or noisemakers. Please remain seated for the entire ceremony until after the graduates recess. We appreciate your cooperation. At this time, we are ready to begin the distribution of diplomas. Kayvon K. Ali Hosini has completed 61 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Kayvon will enroll at the University of Alabama to study economics. Danica Alina Becker is a summa cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 72 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Danica will enroll at the University of Houston Clear Lake to study mathematics education. She has scholarships totaling $1,000. Sarah Becca Bijouet has completed 74 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Sarah will continue her studies in music. Anna Karina Bravo is a summa cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 64 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Anna will enroll at University of Houston Clear Lake and continue her studies at San Jacinto College to double major in physics and mathematics. She has scholarships totaling $500. Christopher Kojo Broby has completed 73 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Christopher will enroll at the University of Houston Clear Lake to study business management. He has scholarships totaling $2,000. Kayleen Eilish, Eilish Castoni is a summa cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 70 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Kayleen will enroll at the University of Houston to study business entrepreneurship. She has scholarships totaling $16,000. Melody Mar Marguerite Clay is a summa cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 73 college credit hours and an associate of science degree. Melody will enroll at Colorado School of Mines to study civil engineering. She has a scholarship totaling $116,000. Roger Thomas Cochran is a summa cum laude honor graduate. He has completed 76 college credit hours and an associate of science degree. Roger will enroll at Texas A&M University to study biology. Daniel Alexander Cordova is a summa cum laude honor graduate and has completed 75 college credit hours and an associate of arts degree. Daniel completed high school early and is enrolled at University of Houston Clear Lake to study business. Nicole Alexandra Cox has completed 68 college credit hours and an associate of arts degree. Nicole will continue her studies in nursing. Sarah Grace Cravens is a summa cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 87 college credit hours and an associate of arts degree. Sarah will enroll at Austin College to study psychology. She has scholarships totaling $63,000. Anna Lucinda Davia has completed 62 college credit hours and an associate of arts degree. Lucy will enroll at Texas Tech University to study both early childhood education and journalism. She has scholarships totaling $4,000. Jacity Yoli Davila is a magna cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 77 college credit hours and an associate of arts degree. Jacity will enroll at the University of Texas Health Science Center, Houston, to study nursing. She has scholarships totaling $4,000. Jordan Kathleen Deckman is a cum laude honor graduate and has completed 53 college credit hours. Jordan completed high school early and is enrolled at Texas State University to study English and education. She has scholarships totaling 1,500. Anthony Tan Dip is a summa cum laude honor graduate. Anthony has completed 81 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Anthony will enroll at the University of Houston Clear Lake to study biology. He has scholarships totaling $1,000. Braden Turner Duke has completed 57 college credit hours and will finish his Associate's degree at San Jacinto Community College South. Braden will enroll at the University of Houston Clear Lake to study computer engineering. Kelly Jean Eastwood is a magna cum laude honor graduate. Kelly has completed 68 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Kelly will enroll at the University of Texas Dallas to study accounting. Jacob Howe Estes has completed 62 college credit hours. Jacob completed high school early and is currently enrolled at the Austin Aveda Institute. Don Rubin Atoria has completed 72 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Don will enroll at the University of Houston Clear Lake to study accounting. He has scholarships totaling $2,000. Aaron Michael Flaherty is a magna cum laude honor graduate. Aaron has completed 68 college credit hours and an Associate of Science degree. Aaron will enroll at the University of Houston to study biology. 
Chanel Lene Ford has completed 67 college credit hours and will finish her associate's degree at San Jacinto Community College South. Chanel will enroll at Texas State University to study business. Monica Denise Garza is a cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 67 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Monica will enroll at the University of Houston to study art and animation. Sierra Lynn Gonzalez is a summa cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 79 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Sierra will pursue her ministry in Puerto Rico. Catherine Joanne Gravis is a summa cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 74 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Catherine will enroll at Texas Tech. Tech University to study occupational therapy. Byron Ernst Hansen has completed 68 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Byron will enroll at the University of Houston to study engineering. Michelle Christine Harold is a summa cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 98 college credit hours and an Associate of Science degree. Michelle will enroll in the honors program at Texas Tech University to study biology. She has scholarships totaling $20,000. Patrick Taylor Henderson has completed 61 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Patrick will enroll at the University of Houston to study entrepreneurship. Damon Eric Hobson is a cum laude honor graduate. He has completed 79 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Eric will enroll at the University of Houston Clear Lake to study environmental management. Rebecca Lee Hubstenberger is a cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 64 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Rebecca will enroll at, the Southwest, at Southwestern University to study liberal arts. She has scholarships totaling $52,000. Zad Mustafa Hussein has completed 71 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Zad will continue his studies in business. Matthew William Jackson is a summa cum laude honor graduate. He has completed 67 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Matthew will enroll at the University of Houston to study history. Rachel Ann Jacobs has completed 61 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Rachel will enroll at Stephen F. Austin University to study animal science. Cade Allen Jones has completed 60 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. He will enroll at the University of Texas Arlington to study mechanical engineering. He has scholarships totaling $22,000. Layla Karimian has completed 67 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. She will enroll at the University of Houston Clear Lake to study psychology. She has scholarships totaling 1,600. Jessica Susan Kanar is a summa cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 79 college credit hours and an Associate of Science degree. Jessica will enroll at Kettering University to study mechanical engineering. She has scholarships totaling $90,000. Aviana Michelle Knockle is our salutatorian. She is a summa cum laude honor graduate. Aviana has completed 81 college credit hours and an associate of science degree. She will enroll at the University of Houston to study mechanical engineering. Aviana has scholarships totaling $26,000. Shazib Faraz Lalani has completed 76 college credit hours and an associate of arts degree. Shazab will enroll at the University of Houston Clear Lake to study business. He has scholarships totaling $1,600. Jessica Lee Lambert is a summa cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 76 college credit hours and an associate of arts degree. Jessica will enroll at the University of Houston Clear Lake to study business. Angela Aniel Lawrence has completed 64 college credit hours and will finish her associate's degree at San Jacinto Community College South. Angela will enroll at the University of Houston to study life science. Dip Nock Lee is a summa cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 71 college credit hours and an associate of science degree. Dip will enroll at the University of Texas to study human biology. Ryan Alexander Lear is a summa cum laude honor graduate. Ryan has completed 82 college credit hours and an associate of science degree. Ryan will enroll at the University of Texas Dallas to study computer science. Stacy Ching Yi Lee is a summa cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 79 college credit hours and an associate of science degree. Stacy will enroll at the University of Texas to study nutrition. Kayla Sierra Lesage is a magna cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 70 college credit hours and an associate of science degree. Kayla will enroll at the Texas A&M Galveston University to study biochemistry. Dina Isabel Lucardi is our valedictorian. She is a summa cum laude graduate. She has completed 72 college credit hours and an associate of science degree. Dina will enroll at the University of Texas to study chemical engineering. She has scholarships totaling 16,500 plus the highest ranking high school graduate scholarship that pays tuition for one year. Mary Elizabeth Lesney is a summa cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 73 college credit hours and an associate of science degree. Mary will enroll at the Baylor University to study biology. She has scholarships totaling $58,000. 
Nancy Mendoza has completed 51 college credit hours and finished her associate's degree at San Jacinto Community College South. Nancy will then enroll at the University of Houston to study psychology. Zafine Shukatali Momin has completed 65 college credit hours and an associate of arts degree. Safin will enroll at the University of Houston to study computer science. Chase Samuel Nelson has completed 70 college credit hours and an associate of arts degree. Chase will go on to a mission trip. Cody Tyler Peck has completed 62 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Cody will enroll at Barry University to study pre-law. He has scholarships totaling $111,000. Matthew Mills Peebles is a summa cum laude honor graduate. He has completed 75 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Matthew will enroll at Trinity University to study psychology and philosophy. He has scholarships totaling $56,000. Matthew was chosen by our staff as the most outstanding senior boy. Kyle Robert Porsche has completed 65 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Kyle will enroll at Stephen F. Austin to study business. Jesus Alejandro Puente is a cum laude honor graduate. He has completed 66 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Alex will enroll at the University of Houston to study biology. Jessica Nell Robbins has complete, completed 56 college credit hours and will finish her associate's degree at San Jacinto Community College South. Jessica will enroll at Texas Tech University to study law. John, Jonathan Javad Rustami has completed 63 college credit hours and an associate of arts degree. Jonathan will enroll at DeVry University to study game and simulation programming. He has scholarships totaling $1,500. Robert Garrett Rufter has completed 61 college credit hours and an associate of arts degree. Garrett will enroll at the University of Houston to study advertising. Corey Jonathan Sad is a summa cum laude honor graduate. He has completed 73 college credit hours and an associate of arts degree. Corey will enroll at the University of Houston to study biology. He has scholarships totaling $18,000. Marion Reed Schwartz is a cum laude honor graduate. Marion has completed 81 college credit hours and an associate of arts degree. Marion will enroll in the honors program at Texas Tech University to study civil engineering. Paul James Sakatis has completed 67 college credit hours and an associate of arts degree. Paul will enroll at the University of Houston Clear Lake to study mathematics. Jacqueline Celeste Shaheen has completed 71 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Jacqueline will enroll at Texas Tech University to study psychology. Luke Gabriel Silvera is a cum laude honor graduate. He has completed 64 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Luke will enroll at Sam Houston State University to study special education. David Michael Simmons has completed 69 college credit hours and an Associate of Science degree. Michael has enlisted in the Navy and has been accepted into the SEAL program. Jordan Danielle Steele has completed 54 college credit hours and will finish her associate's degree at San Jacinto Community College South. Jordan will enroll at the University of Houston Clear Lake to study psychology. She has scholarships that cover tuition, living expenses, and books. Brian Patrick Sullivan has completed 64 college credit hours and an associate of arts degree. Brian will enroll at Sam Houston State University to study criminal justice. Batsheva Tabachman is a summa cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 69 college credit hours and an associate of arts degree. Batsheva will enroll in the honors program at the University of Houston to study history and optometry. Batsheva was chosen by our staff as the most outstanding senior girl. <laughs> Stephanie Tai is a cum, summa cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 69 college credit hours and an associate of arts degree. Stephanie will enroll at the University of Houston to study computer engineering. Crystal Pigarin Terrio is a summa cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 83 college credit hours and an associate of science degree. Crystal will enroll at West Point to study mechanical engineering. Emily Elise Vega has completed 51 college credit hours. Emily will enroll at Sam Houston State University to study nursing. Megan Elise Volkwardson is a cum laude honor graduate. Megan has completed 71 college credit hours and an associate of arts degree. Megan will enroll at Baylor University to study neuroscience. She has scholarships totaling $30,000. Jessica Diane Wild has completed 54 college credit hours and finished her associate's degree at San Jacinto Community College South. Jessica plans to study nutrition health. Austin James Willems has completed 68 college credit hours, will finish his associate's degree at San Jacinto Community College South. Austin will enroll at the University of Houston to study computer science. Brianna Christine Wilson is a magna cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 66 college credit hours and an associate of arts degree. Brianna will enroll at the University of Houston Clear Lake to study anthropology. Bashala Denise Yates is a summa cum laude honor graduate. She has completed 60 college credit hours and an Associate of Arts degree. Pashala will enroll at the University of Malta to study anthropology and history.
Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege to introduce the 2011 graduates of Clear Horizons Early College High School. Seniors, I commend you on earning your high school diploma. At this time, please move your tassel to the left, signifying that you are now alumni of Clear Horizons Early College High School. Good afternoon, I'm Vatsheva Tabakman, the Clear Horizons student body president. For our senior year, we adopted the motto, Challenge Accepted, the perfect description of our past four years. Now a new chapter begins in our lives with new challenges, and I wish only the best for my fellow graduates. May you always be surrounded by the support of your loved ones. May your tears only be caused by too much laughter, and may the future bring you the courage to achieve your dreams. Congratulations, class of 2011, Challenge completed. 